Congratulations on being approved for your new rental property. At Elaine Lewis Property Management, we aim to make your rental experience smooth and hassle-free. This video will give you an overview of everything you need to know before moving into your new rental home. Let's begin. When a property is rented, each party has certain responsibilities. As a tenant, you must keep the property clean and meet your financial obligations. The landlord must keep the property well maintained and ensure that you have quiet enjoyment of the property. It is our responsibility to make sure that both the tenants and the landlords meet their obligations. Prompt and honest communication can resolve most issues. If you have any questions during your tenancy, contact your property manager. Email is best, as most requests need to be in writing. We will do everything we can to resolve issues quickly, with a minimum of fuss. Before your tenancy begins, you will need to pay bond and two weeks rent. We will hold your bond funds in a trust account until the tenancy ends, at which point we will refund your bond to you. The two weeks rent that you pay with your bond will automatically be applied to your rental ledger. This will take your rent paid to date, two weeks from your lease start date. We highly recommend that you commence regular rent payments immediately to keep your rent paid in advance at all times. Before you move, don't forget to connect your electricity in your own name to avoid disruption to service, as it will be disconnected from our account before you move in. This can be done by contacting Jakarta Energy on 1800 Jakarta, 1800 Depending on the property that you are renting, you may require gas. Some properties will have a gas bottle provided for your use. If this is the case, it will be full at the time of you taking possession of the property and you will be required to provide a full gas bottle at the time of vacating. Some rural properties, you will be required to provide your own gas bottle, so be sure to check in advance. If the property that you are renting is connected to town water, it will be ready to use. Please be sure to check your individual lease agreement for details on water consumption and charges. If you are unsure, please check with your property manager. For properties with a bore, you will be provided with instructions on how to operate this. Again, please check with your property manager if you are unsure. Rent is payable in advance and must reach our office on or before the due date. We have a strict rental arrears policy and late payments will not be tolerated. Our preferred method of payment is BPAY. Each tenancy is allocated an individual reference number. For your records, you will be provided with a card displaying your individual reference number. It is important that you use this reference number on all rent payments, as it allows us to ensure that rent funds are allocated to the correct property in an efficient and timely manner. Please remember that it can take between 24 and 48 hours for funds to reach our account once you make the payment. Please allow for this transaction time. Unfortunately, we do not have credit card facilities and are unable to accept card transactions. Rent may be paid in cash at our reception desk if required. However, where possible, we ask that BPAY transactions are used. Again, this is our preferred method of payment. If at any time you have any questions regarding your rent or paid to dates, we are happy to assist. Just contact your property manager. It is important that you understand and remember that our landlords have financial commitments too and they rely on rent being paid on time. So if you have payment difficulties or are likely to be late with payment, please advise your property manager straight away. The property condition report establishes the state of the property at the start of your tenancy. We complete our property condition reports in both video and written format. You will be provided with a copy within three business days of starting your tenancy. You will be asked to sign stating that you understand it is considered acceptance of the report as we have provided it to you if it is not returned to us with any markups that you wish to add. You will be allowed time to check the property condition report and make any amendments that you feel are required. The property condition report will be used as comparison at the end of your tenancy to assess whether your bond is refunded. Any requests for property maintenance or repairs should be made separately, not in the property condition report. Our office uses a program called Maintenance Manager to keep records of maintenance on all of the properties that we manage. Each tenant will be sent an invitation to download the app on their mobile device. 
All maintenance can be logged by the tenant at any time of the day and will be actioned in a timely manner. It is very helpful if you add a photograph which will assist in explaining the maintenance item and its location. This enables us to ensure that the correct action is taken and the best suited tradespeople are engaged to complete any repairs. After a landlord approves a tenancy, no new tenants can move in without formal approval from the landlord via our office. If you wish to transfer the lease, both incoming and outgoing tenants need to complete and sign some paperwork. We will help you through this process. If your lease agreement is in joint or in multiple names, it is important that you understand all parties are individually and jointly responsible. That means that if one person is unable to meet their financial commitment, all other parties are held responsible to meet it. Unless it is otherwise specified, it is your responsibility to water and cut the lawns, prune trees and shrubs and maintain the garden beds. If you would rather hire a professional, Call and ask us for our list of recommended gardeners. To ensure that the property is well maintained, we inspect the property on a periodical basis. This is a service that we provide to the landlord and must be completed. You should be aware that the landlord may wish to be present. Our office will provide you with adequate notice before each inspection. We schedule our inspections based on the area that we will be in at that time. It is therefore greatly appreciated if wherever possible the times allocated can be kept. We are able to complete the inspection with the use of our office keys in your absence if you provide us authority to do so. The inspection itself usually only takes 10 to 15 minutes and we are happy to provide a copy of the inspection report and any photographs taken if you wish. You can arrange for the redirection of your mail through the local post office. If mail for the landlord or any previous tenants arrives during your tenancy, please direct it to our office and we will forward it as required. The landlord's insurance covers the building, fixtures and fittings, but not your personal contents. We strongly recommend that you take out a comprehensive contents insurance policy for your own belongings. If your rental property is in an area where rubbish collection is provided, please be sure to place all rubbish and recyclable materials in the appropriate bins. Check with your local council to find out bin collection days. In the rural area, you will be required to organise collection of the rubbish yourself. We can provide details on companies who can assist with this if you wish. Before each tenancy commences, we check the smoke detectors for compliance and correct operation. It is the tenant's responsibility to check the operation of the unit during their tenancy and replace batteries as required. Cobwebs and bugs inside the unit can set the unit off randomly. It is important that you clean the unit to prevent this from occurring. This can be done with either a feather duster or a vacuum and should be completed on a regular basis. If you lease an apartment or townhouse, it is likely that a body corporate assists in maintaining the common areas. You must abide by their rules and guidelines during your tenancy. If you have any complaints or maintenance requests about common areas, you can contact the body corporate directly or your property manager will be happy to assist. If the property that you are renting has air conditioning, it is your responsibility to ensure that the filters are kept clean. We recommend checking and cleaning these at a minimum of every three months. If you are unsure how to clean the filters, please check the instruction manual or contact your property manager who will be able to provide guidance. If cleaning is not undertaken, you may have to cover the costs of this service if it causes future problems with the unit. You will likely have ceiling fans at the property that you are renting. It is important that the blades of the fans are kept clean and dust free. With the humidity in the air and the dust, it can cause them to age very quickly and rust and pitting will occur. If you wish to hang pictures, please put in a request in writing to the property manager. Do not use any hooks, nails, bolts, blue tack or sticky tape on the walls without written permission from the landlord via EMPM. If there is any damage to the property walls, including the paintwork, you will need to repair this at your own cost before the end of your lease. No alterations should be made to the property without written consent from the landlord via EMPM. As per the Residential Tenancies Act, you must advise of any problem that occurs during your tenancy. If you do not, you could be held liable for any additional costs that the landlord might incur. 
we have an expert team of qualified tradespeople to carry out repairs and maintenance. So if a problem occurs, advise us immediately via the Maintenance Manager app or in writing. It is important that you understand what classes as an emergency. If an emergency occurs and you are unable to contact your property manager or an EMPM representative, you may use the contacts provided in your lease agreement. If repairs that are not deemed as an emergency are undertaken, you may be liable for the cost. If you require further clarification, please consult your property manager. As your fixed term lease agreement approaches expiry, you will be contacted by your property manager to find out if you are interested in extending your lease term. Landlord approval will also be required and we will liaise with both parties. You may contact your property manager at any time to discuss options with lease renewals. If you wish to terminate your lease at the end of a fixed term, you will need to complete an intention to vacate notice, which your property manager can provide to you. For a fixed term lease, you are required to provide a minimum of two weeks written notice of intention to vacate. You should maintain regular contact with your property manager to ensure that all required items are completed prior to you vacating. This will allow for your bond to remain intact and the full amount to be returned to you. If you need to break your lease, notify your property manager as early as possible. The costs of breaking your lease and all of the other information that you will require will then be provided to you. We will work with you to help minimise any financial loss. Thank you for taking the time to learn about how property rental works. If you have any questions at any time, please feel free to contact your property manager who will be happy to assist. So that's it from us. Good luck with your new home.